Bop! Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with Omega Wolf. Hi. And True Blue Blur. Long time no see. It's getting cold. Hurry up. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Oh, it's this dude. No, it's, That's a, lady. it's a oh. different person. Whoa. Just because she has an afro doesn't mean she's a... Okay, I'm yeah. pretty sure okay. they're cousins, actually, so like, from, legitimately. So from a distance, they both have the same very large hairstyle. <laughs> yes. And from a distance, in the Twilight Realm, I cannot tell what gender they are. <laughs> if they have the same giant hair... That doesn't we've mean only she's met, a man. And we've only met one character that has this giant hair so far. It is okay for me to assume it's that one character until we get up close. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to go for it. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, so we got to get our fur coat. Sure is nice that... we have this uh, dig o vision. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I can really dig Patent it. Patent pending. Were those okay? For a second, I thought those were like mini gravestones. I was no, like, no, they're just small crates. Desecrating graves. <laughs> Desecrating it the crates. It wouldn't actually be the first time in a Zelda game. No, I think it's in almost all of them. Oh it, yeah, especially in the first one where you actually move gravestones. Oh yeah, you do kind of do that, don't you? Mm -hmm. You have to move them in order to get to the most powerful sword. So technically, that makes you a grave robber. Yes, it does. Well, what does that make the man that was living inside the grave? Yeah. Uh, stall pose? I don't know. Ah! I don't want to fall down there. I don't think I can get back up. Or can you? Mm, yeah, okay, I'd be able to get back up. So, quick. under normal circumstances, this area would be underwater? Yep, this is the river. Um, okay. You guys were talking, but she was complaining about the fact that the rivers run dry and she can't run her business like this. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense, because uh, rivers have been centers of commerce for uh -huh. uh, millennia. Uh-huh. Um, a lot of, like, European <coughs> settlements settled near rivers because water. Yep. Coming to a sweet, dank valley near you. Su sweet, <laughs> dank river valley near you. Oh and gosh. it's also easier to, like, just move boats up a river than yeah. it is to yeah. just carry I mean, large loads. Yeah, like there's, there's lots of famous rivers uh, that do that. I mean, the Mississippi is one. Um, there's one in China that led to them being uh, a sweet, dank valley oh uh, in between a river. Um, Mesopotamia, yeah. actually, the term Mesopotamia comes from uh, whatever, like Sumerian? No, like a language before that. Uh, it actually translates as as between two rivers. Ah, uh, yeah. The term Mesopotamia. Um, so, the ancients were well aware that rivers were very useful. I mean, especially if you don't have the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like, what's the best thing to use? I mean, I'm sure in in. Um, I wonder if because there was a there was a like a Native American civilization near the Mississippi River. They were actually called the Mississippi Tribe. They were like in the south. Oh yeah, and so yeah, they, that sounds familiar. Um, I wonder if they actually used the river for commerce like that. Mm. Um, What's going on here? I don't know. I thought it was getting colder, but who would have thought that the that it would all be frozen? I thought you said the the world was frozen, <laughs> and then I, my mind turned to like let it go, to, <laughs> not to fall out, just like I don't want to set the world on fire. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't want to set the world on fire. <laughs> and now my mind is going to the Knuckles yep. animation. <laughs> oh, that, yep. Oh, yeah, the, the Ugandan Knuckles one. Thank you, Greg Zilla. <laughs> is, is he... He's the one that, that put it to music in the first no, place? No, he, he actually used it for a, uh, um, a small game review. Okay. It was just I... a little animation that he... Used for a oh. review of a game. Oh, right. So so I used to know this, but it was... So he made it originally, and then some other guy was given permission to put Slip it to music like that or something? It was something like that. And then so everybody was like, you are now the keeper of this meme. <laughs> you must keep it alive. <laughs> Dang. Ooh. Many people die from icicles every year. Do they? Sure. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> well, that hurt kind of a lot, uh, was actually. That, was that two hearts? Uh, yes, it was. Oh my! 
It's all right. Well, I mean, some you, of these have hearts in them. So. I mean, you fell a good like thirty, it was, forty it meters. It was far. So, where do the hearts come from? Yes, that's the real question. And where if the they were in the from? ice, does that mean somebody died in there? Yes. <laughs> That no is... hesitation. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. You know what there was hesitation for? Them dying in ice. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly. There Just like three sidestepped an icicle. There I know. I, I pushed the direction. Well, you sidestepped it to as if you to dodge an attack from the icicle. And then attacked it. Is it wasn't intentional. It's just what happened. Ice is not a combatant, <laughs> unless you're in Frozen. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think maybe you'll uh, see things differently later on in this game. Oh, are we gonna fight like an ice golem or something? Ah! ah! Oh, that is gonna hurt. Oh, do we have to like? That wait? actually hurt sure. less. My timing was off. Yeah, because the uh, icicle fell. Oh, okay. So well, do we now, have... now it has fallen, though, Wall so it's used out of the icicle way. crash. This is super effective. <laughs> so... Ice shard is better. <laughs> it's ice type quick attack. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. That sounds Which useful. means it's also ice type tackle. So is it a... Is it like a physical move? It's a physical... Uh, speed move. <gasps> oh, man. Whoa. Okay, but it does the same exact damage as, like, Quick Attack, basically. Yeah. It's just ice. So is ice a pretty useful, um... It's useful against dragons. And flying, right? And grass. Is it not useful against flying? I think it might be good against ground. Yeah, it's good against flying, because birds and... Birds. <laughs> and <laughs> birds and ice. Yeah. Birds. Birds. But, basically, ice types are Yay. only glass cannons. Yeah, basically. I mean, they're like speed, speed. Hi cannons. guys. Well, no, oh, not no. really. You only Weavile. Oh. Weavile is the is probably the fastest non-legendary or mythical Pokemon. That's the evolution of um, Sneasel. Sneasel, yeah. See, because Sneasel used to be for the long, for the longest time. Ah, um, oh, dang it! Why didn't you hit them both? You got blocked by the wall. Sneasel was like it. Like, there was no evolution for into yeah. Weavile for a while. Sorry, and I'm... Now in Sun and Moon, you have to randomly find uh, a specific pre-evolution to the dragon type, like the dragon fighting type in that game. Hope that has a Razor Claw. Come on. And use go. Thief. And hope that you get a hold of the item. Huh. <laughs> It is ridiculously hard to try to get a Weavile in Sun and Moon. Well, I mean, if it's so powerful, it makes sense. It would be harder. Well, actually, here's a thing that you're not going to be allowed to do unless you're doing, like, uh, anything goes rules in competitive play. Yeah. But you get a Mawile. Have it Mega Evolve. Use Iron Defense over and over and over again. And then baton pass. Oh god. <laughs> into a Weavile so that it has massive defenses. I said I said oh god because of two different things. Because of <laughs> his explanation and also the Zoras. They're all frozen yeah. under the ice. And so you have that Weavile no punishment. Which it gains twenty power starting at sixty for every stat boost it has, maxing out at two hundred. Oh, no. <laughs> and so you also EV train it and to maximum ta maximum attack. And... Illuminati! <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> and, then, and then you also uh, have its nature give it more attack. And basically, it just will destroy a mega... Uh, Metagross. Oh my gosh, it'll shot. be that would be way too because you you've also increased its defense because of the, the the previous thing, so it'll last a while, right? Yes. Oh gosh. Okay, so and so just like it, it insta kills Mega Metagross, which what? is already like, Mega Beast. Tank. So you want to explain to us what happened? What uh, what what I'm gonna do here is uh, grab the, uh, the giant, giant thing here and use it to melt the ice. Oh. 
how are we gonna get it all the way there? Portals. Now you're thinking with portals. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh. Is that? So we've been. Up. So yeah, she's, yeah, she's very powerful. Again, how powerful is she in her bound state? <laughs> Could she beat Goku? Maybe. <laughs> I don't think so, no, because like, he could probably oh, so, lift that with his finger. <laughs> so, Goku was in the Macy's uh, yeah, Thanksgiving he was. Day Parade yeah. yep. in his Super Saiyan God form. Yep, blue hair. <laughs> Which like, is actually a little weird. It yeah. should have like, just not, been regular. It should have been. Not even in his base form. It should have been just his base form. It should have just been black hair, yeah. Regular yeah. Goku. Yeah. Come on. And they said that he was, he was finally going to be in a movie. <laughs> He's had plenty of movies. He's right? Had, yeah. This isn't his first time. Shot. Oh! <laughs> Release the water. Release, Release the, the Kraken! Kraken. <laughs> <laughs> Not planned. <laughs> Just at the same time. I'll have to look over the audio. We might have said that at the exact same time. <laughs> you don't have to look over the audio. I can confirm it was exact. <laughs> you know what's weird is in, in that movie that that came from. I haven't actually seen it, but isn't it Zeus that's releasing the Kraken in that particular I don't version? Know. But yes. I only shouldn't know it, it be from... Poseidon. I only know it from Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that it, makes sense because they're pirates. Yeah. And they're releasing the Kraken. Uh, hey, you know, I'm, I'm. Those, those, those West Virginians are probably pretty glad that we got rid of that giant meteor. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Although moving it from there to there probably released a lot of lava, right? Uh, no, because it was in the. Uh, it was just the in ground. the ground. Ah, okay. It was. It wasn't over. A, what? What did events. we agree that the uh, the Zoras were? The oh, Floridians. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. They were... there, there we have some sunbathers there. Right? Uh, they just and, oh, out of ice. We have somebody escape from the old folks' home. <laughs> Cough. Oh, the character's actually coughing. <gasps> yep. <laughs> Why are they all female? <gasps> uh, they're not. They all sound female. I mean, okay, so some species of fish actually change genders throughout their life. They're not clownfish. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of, lots of fish do that. Uh, so do some frogs and several kinds of lizards. Whoa. That was weird. Uh, <laughs> nothing to <laughs> say. Just talking, just the image, just the image in my head, just something in my head triggered that was like unreasonably funny. <laughs> just you swimming in the water, talking to somebody who's like saying nothing. I don't know. I, I don't know if I can explain just how funny that was to me, but. There's so many. Where's the queen? You have to go away. She'll, oh, really? She'll catch you before you leave. Yeah, okay. How do I remember this? Have you have you played this game? I only made it to the Light Temple. Okay, so that's much farther that's, than I that's, have. That's fairly old. Well, I've only played the yeah. very beginning several times. Wait! <laughs> you got this. What is, what is a Floridian accent? Whoa, <laughs> she's like flying. Please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people. And the spring, which is the water source for all the lands of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Just somehow the, somehow the, <laughs> somehow the water flowing from Florida gets to Hawaii. It's the only reason it's an island because all of that water from Florida. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead. <laughs> I can't stop now. <laughs> if the water flows, that's the reason for the ocean. <laughs> All the water. All that water from off the of Florida. <laughs> from the Atlantic Ocean. It goes all the way from the Atlantic Ocean through the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> it does Specifically surrounding the water, the island of Hawaii. We've it's just a single current. We can't, we can't go just south because we can't get around South America. <laughs> it's too dangerous there for the water. <laughs> so we have to go to the Indian Ocean. It hurts. It's so bad. <laughs> I can push the button. <laughs> oh, <ow. laughs> this doesn't even make sense. Is... <laughs> the dark ones. I mean, it's, just, it's just a 
I'm looking over, you're like dying as you're reading this. You're like clutching your chest. There's a message to my people. Executed me before then. Oh, uh, she's dead? She's actually legitimately dead. She's not just a spirit because of the twilight. Oh. Young man. You must take Young the man, form of a proud beast. You must take the form of a proud beast. I have I something know. to ask of you. <laughs> when the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Relis, to Hawaii Castle. <laughs> <laughs> to form Princess Zelda of our fate. <laughs> <laughs> but I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. We had a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> the field, his presence grows fainter to me over time. Does Hawaii have a lot of hurricanes? Yes. Oh, okay. But my time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Travis? I mean, do we have a choice? Before I mean, he right? becomes Gardevoir. <laughs> 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 If you do this swing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. I'll just add that to my collection of uh, <laughs> mystical powers that I have. Right. This power will grant you the ability to swim and, resp and respire in very deep water as if you were a Zora. Oh. So we can breathe underwater. Yep. Please, save my son. It's also really cool looking armor. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> but we can't use it when we're a wolf. No, no, we can't. Hmm. Uh, we should probably call the episode here. Okay. My throat still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you just laugh yourself into a fit. <laughs> oh, so this is uh, this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. This is Meg Wolf. Have a great day. Keep on swimming fast. <laughs>